Have you ever stepped onto dry, cracked earth and wondered what might be hiding just beneath your feet? What if I told you that in the heart of the Australian outback, beneath the sun-scorched soil, lurks a creature so deadly that one drop of its venom could end a hundred lives? If you think cobras or rattlesnakes are the most dangerous, think again. The inland taipan makes them look tame. In today's journey, we were not just going to meet the world's most venomous snake, we were going to understand why it's so deadly, how its venom works, and how nature crafted a predator that kills without mercy, and almost without error. We'll travel back millions of years to see how Earth ECR's shifting climate forced snakes to evolve from powerful constrictors to chemical assassins, and we'll dive into the astonishing science of venom, how it doesn't just kill, but disassembles the human body piece by piece. I still remember the first time I learned about the inland Taipan. I thought, this can't be real. But then I saw the data, the case studies, the videos, and the more I looked, the more I couldn't look away. If you've ever felt that mix of awe and fear when facing the raw power of nature, this video is for you. So buckle up, because what you smut re about to learn might just change the way you see the world around you. If you've ever felt chills just watching a documentary, leave a one in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you won to miss the next deep dive into nature as strangest creations. Imagine walking through the arid plains of southwestern Queensland, the sun beating down, the earth dry and cracked beneath your boots. The landscape feels lifeless, just dirt, wind, and silence. But then something moves. A shimmer of black scales glides out from a fissure in the ground. Slow, deliberate, almost elegant. You might not recognize it at first glance. It doesn't rattle. It doesn't hood up like a cobra. It doesn't hiss or coil menacingly. It simply is. Calm, poised, and more dangerous than anything you've ever seen. This is the Inland Taipan. Locals call it the Fierce Snake. Not because it acts aggressively, it actually doesn't, but because its venom is a molecular masterpiece of destruction. This creature isn't just the most venomous snake on Earth. It's a biological weapon perfected by evolution. What makes it even more terrifying is its invisibility. You won't find it slithering through popular tourist spots or lounging on tree branches. The inland Taipan is secretive. It lives in remote deserts, often tucked away in holes or crevices. Invisible until it's too late. It prefers solitude. Its camouflage blends perfectly with the dust and stone. And when it moves, it does so with such precision, such grace, that you might think it's not a threat at all. But one strike from this snake is all it takes. What's more chilling? Its venom isn't used in self-defense. No, it's designed to hunt. It's made to stop prey instantly, to disable, digest, and dominate. And if you get in its way, you're just another interruption in its path. This part of Australia isn't bustling with human life, which is probably the only reason we don't hear about more fatal encounters. But just because it lives far from cities doesn't make it any less real. And every time someone ventures into its territory, there's a sliver of chance they might cross paths. So next time you see cracked earth, a quiet crevice, or a shadow slither across the rocks, ask yourself, would you even know if the world's deadliest creature was watching you from below? If that thought made your skin crawl just a little, drop a emoji in the comments. Let's see how many of us feel the same way. It doesn't look like a monster. No glowing eyes. No massive fangs dripping with venom. The inland taipan is sleek, quiet, almost modest. But don't be fooled, because beneath that quiet exterior lies the most potent venom ever recorded in the animal kingdom. Let's put that into perspective. A king cobra's bite delivers around 420 milligrams of venom. That's enough to kill roughly 2,600 mice. Pretty terrifying, right? Now consider this. An inland taipan typically injects only 44 milligrams per bite, but that amount, it could kill up to 220,000 mice. And in extreme cases, it has been known to deliver over 110 milligrams in a single strike enough to wipe out half a million mice or over 100 human adults. The comparison is staggering, 
It's 72 times more toxic than the king cobra, 23 times more potent than the Indian cobra, and seven times deadlier than the hooked-nosed sea snake, which itself is considered among the most dangerous marine reptiles. Why would nature craft something so excessive? Why would a snake need the power to kill a hundred humans when all it hunts are tiny desert rodents? The answer lies in evolution, because out there in the harsh Australian outback, you don't get second chances. If a strike fails, if the prey escapes, the energy wasted could mean death for the predator, so the inland taipan evolved to make sure no prey ever gets back up. Its venom isn't just lethal, it's fast. It acts in minutes, not hours. Paralyzing, bleeding, shutting down organs with clinical precision. What's worse? The bite doesn't always look dramatic. No massive wound. No gush of blood. Just a small mark, barely noticeable. While inside, the body begins to collapse. Before antivenom became available, every single bite from an inland taipan was considered fatal. Every. Single. One. Today, if you're not treated within 30 to 45 minutes, your chances of survival drop fast. The venom tears through the bloodstream, targets the kidneys, paralyzes the muscles, and eventually silences your lungs. Still think it's just another snake? If these numbers blew your mind, if you'd never imagined something so small could be so destructive, Comment below, nature doesn't play fair. You feel it before you even see it. A sharp sting, then nothing. Two tiny punctures on your leg. A blur of movement disappears into the dry grass. You've just been bitten by an inland taipan. At first, you might think it's no big deal. There's barely any pain, no dramatic swelling. But inside your body, a silent war begins. Within minutes, your blood starts to change. Hemotoxins in the venom tear through blood vessels, causing tiny clots to form everywhere. The body's clotting system panics and then collapses. You start bleeding and can't stop. Then your muscles begin to break down. Myotoxins shred muscle fibers, releasing toxic proteins into the bloodstream. Your kidneys rush to clean up the mess, but the overload shuts them down. And finally, neurotoxins shut the body off from the brain. Your lungs forget how to breathe. Your muscles forget how to move. It's like pulling the plug on a machine. From the outside, it might look like you're just tired, resting. But inside, every organ is failing. Without antivenom in under 30, 45 minutes, the outcome is almost certain. Most terrifying of all, you stay fully conscious as your body shuts down. If someone you loved got bit out there, far from help, would you even know what to do? Tell me in the comments. I'd panic or I'd try to save them. Let's see who's really ready. Snakes didn't always kill with venom. Millions of years ago, they relied on strength, squeezing their prey to death, like boas and pythons still do today. These early snakes had short, powerful muscles, perfect for ambushing animals in dense jungles. They'd coil, constrict, and wait as the prey suffocated. It worked, as long as the forest stayed thick. But then, Earth changed. Around 23 million years ago, jungles began to thin out. The world dried, and wide-open plains emerged. For snakes, this was a problem. No more hiding, no more ambushing, and chasing prey across open ground. Constricting wasn't fast enough. Nature had to adapt. And it did. Brilliantly. Some snakes evolved longer, faster muscles. But more importantly, they developed venom. A way to kill without a struggle. Strike once, let chemistry do the rest. Over time, this venom became more complex. Not just to kill, but to paralyze, digest, even silence prey instantly. The inland taipan is the ultimate product of this evolution. Living in dry, open, outback terrain, it needs to end the hunt fast. And so, its venom is more than deadly. It's efficient. Next time you think of evolution, don't just picture survival of the fittest. Think of survival of the fastest and deadliest. If that twist on evolution surprised you, type nature is ruthless in the comments. You'd think all deadly snakes work the same way. Venomous bite. Prey dies. The end, right? Not quite. Even among snakes that look similar, the way their venom works can be wildly different. Take the black mamba of Africa and the coastal taipan of Australia. Same size, same hunting style, same type of prey. But their venom? Totally different formulas. The black mamba uses alpha neurotoxins, proteins that block signals from the brain to the muscles. 
The coastal taipan, on the other hand, relies on beta neurotoxins, a slower, deeper kind of poison that destroys nerve endings themselves. Both kill. But how they kill, that's a lesson in convergent evolution. When two species face the same challenge, and nature gives them different tools to solve it. Even among taipans, the story changes. The central range's taipan uses alpha toxins. The coastal taipan leans on beta. But the inland taipan, it uses both. It's like combining two deadly strategies into one perfect weapon, one that paralyzes instantly, and one that ensures the prey never recovers. That's not just evolution, that's optimization. And it's what makes the inland taipan the deadliest snake on earth. So now I'm curious, if you had to face one of them, which would you choose? Comment below, black mamba or inland taipan? Let's see who's feeling brave. When the inland taipan strikes, it doesn't just inject poison, it delivers a biochemical symphony of destruction. Let's break it down. First, hemotoxins. These toxins wreck your blood. They create clots too quickly. Tiny ones, which use up your body's ability to clot it all. So when you start to bleed, there's nothing left to stop it. Next, myotoxins. They go after your muscles, tearing fibers apart cell by cell. Your muscles leak toxic waste into your bloodstream. And your kidneys? They try to filter it until they fail, fast. Then come the neurotoxins. The final act. These aren't just blockers, they're silencers. They shut down the lines of communication between brain and muscle. You think breathe, but your body never gets the message. And it's not one toxin doing the damage. It's a team, each targeting a different system, each time to strike in perfect sequence. It's not just death, it's designed death. Evolution didn't just make this venom powerful, it made it precise. That's why a bite from the inland taipan is so terrifying, because from the inside out, your body loses the fight before you even know it started. So now you know, when nature builds a killer, it doesn't go halfway. Tell me in the comments, which toxin scares you most? Let's see which system gives people the chills. The real horror begins when the neurotoxins take control. There are two kinds in inland taipan venom, and they don't just paralyze, they erase your body's ability to move. First, the alpha neurotoxins. These proteins bind to receptors between your nerves and muscles. Normally, a chemical called acetylcholine tells your muscles to contract, but these toxins block the signal, like cutting the wire between your brain and your limbs. The result? Instant paralysis. You're awake, fully conscious, but can't move, can't breathe, can't even blink. But that's just the beginning. Now come the beta neurotoxins, and they're even worse. They go deeper into the very machinery of your cells. They break down cell membranes, releasing arachidonic acid, which causes a flood of calcium ions. Too much calcium means the system short circuits. All the acetylcholine is released at once, then gone. The body runs out. No way to send new messages. And worse, the receptors themselves get shut off or destroyed. So even if your brain wants to keep you alive, your body simply won't listen anymore. This is the final shutdown. The heart slows, the lungs forget, the muscles freeze, and slowly, quietly, the body powers down. No pain, no struggle, just silence. It's the deadliest kind of death, the kind that feels like nothing at all. Comment shut down if you made it through that without holding your breath. It's easy to fear something like the inland taipan. It's silent, invisible, and impossibly lethal. But here's the twist. It doesn't hate us. It doesn't hunt us. In fact, most people will never see one in their lifetime. It just exists, perfectly evolved, precisely tuned to survive. That's what makes it beautiful. Because the inland taipan isn't just a snake, it's a symbol of nature's quiet genius. A creature forged by millions of years of change, climate shifts, predator-prey arms races, survival at its most extreme. It's venom, it's not cruelty, it's efficiency, it's precision. A chemical code written by evolution to solve a simple problem, catch prey, stay alive. And that is strangely inspiring. It reminds us how powerful biology can be, how something so small can carry the weight of thousands of generations in every drop of venom. 
but it also teaches us something deeper, that fear and awe often come from the same place. And the more we understand, the less we judge, and the more we appreciate. So whether you see it as a monster or a masterpiece, know this, nature doesn't make mistakes. It only makes adaptations. If this made you look at snakes differently, type respect nature in the comments, because sometimes the deadliest things in the world are also the most extraordinary.